What do I see? Can it be the fair and quiet door? Alone, I'll announce my presence by playing this charming melody she loves to hear. Oh, it's you. My husband. My wife. So I caught you in the act, madam. In the act of what, my dear? <laughs> of what? To whom may I ask for you throwing these flowers, my dear? These flowers? Why, I was throwing them to the wind. And what about you, my tender friend? To whom were you playing so passionately on that fiddle? Ah, oh, to the moon. At seven o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Look, Orpheus, let's stop playing these games. You have your shepherdess, I have my cow. Boy. Cowboy? It's like a shepherd, but with cows, not sheep. Cows! Well, I'll let you have your shepherdess. Just leave me my cowboy alone. <laughs> really, madam, your proposition is in very poor taste. Oh, really? Why? I blush with shame. Our love could be a legacy for generations to come. Our story. It's old and dead. You could turn red, great, and dead for all oh. I care. <laughs> Oh, Eurydice. Oh, why? Look, uh -uh. Orpheus, it's time we had a final discussion on this. Once and for all, here are the facts. Orpheus, my chaste husband, my poor, blushing husband, I detest you! I thought I married an artist. Well, it turns out I married the biggest, bloodiest boar who ever lived. Do you think I wanted to waste my youth listening to your cycle of epic poems and hearing you scratch away on that Horrible instrument. All that melancholy nonsense. Yuck. You can't even fiddle what the locals play. That's why no one takes lessons from you. How about a few line dancing tunes or some country music? Live it up. Woo. <laughs> Give me that thing. Ah, it's a violin. It plays classical music. Don't ever touch my instrument. Your instrument it does it's nothing it's for it's me. Not it bores me. Why do you think I'm chasing after that cow shepherd? Cowboy! Go, use your fiddle on someone else. That third-class shepherdess I've seen you with. Me? I'm the daughter of a nymph and a demigod. I've got to be free. Ethereal. <laughs> I love that cowboy. Nothing will separate me from Aristeus. This is the end.
and position. I've made a name for myself out of my own talent and industry. I like people. It is my one weakness. Ah. I have no wish to harm them, but I have a mind to kill that cow, the shepherd thing. With what, your hairy violin bow? <laughs> it is useless to tell you the means in which I have chosen to track that marauder. But it should be sufficient to tell you this. I wouldn't advise that cow shepherd to romp around in the wheat like he has ever since he came from I don't know where to live in my neighborhood. And who's going to stop him? <laughs> Just a little treat I have strewn to the wheat. Just one. Just what do you mean? Oh, look, my dear, I have to give my lessons. So goodbye, my sweet. <laughs> And remember, the treat in the wheat. What an elementary rhyme! Oh, what is he talking about? A treat in the wheat? Maybe it's a trap? A stag or wolf trap? But what kind could it be? 
Oh, he's so jealous of him. And Aristeus always crosses our wheat field to meet me and play. I'll just have to warn him before he gets home. He could get hurt. I'm off.
I tell people to inspire confidence. But if they only knew who I really am and what fiendish plans I have, why, if the plan I whispered to Orpheus succeeds, I think everything should happen today. Ah! But here comes my lovely Eurydice, just the way I imagined. I mustn't look like I've been in the wheat. <laughs>
goodbye to this world. Goodbye. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, sunflowers. Clocks ticking. Food. Coffee. Dresses. Hot baths. Sleeping. Waking okay, up. Okay, enough talking. <laughs> little snake. I will use my divine powers to defy your husband one last time. Here's a pen and everything you need to write. From this house I do go, dead, never to awaken. My cowboy is Pluto, by the devil I've been taken. It's not a golden rhyme, but hey, all that glitters is not gold. And now, to the Isle of the Dead! From this house I do go, dead, never to awaken. My cowboy is Pluto. By the devil I've been taken. What? She's... She's dead? No, that's, that's not true. That's impossible, but... She said so herself. Oh, yes! She's dead! Thank you! Thank you, Jupiter! Oh, I can be beside myself with joy! Oh, I can tell my darling the good news! Just a minute! About this! This cannot happen like this! Oh, it's public opinion after me already. Yes, it is I, public opinion, who knows all, which comes to snatch you from your indecent joy and make you atone for your heinous crimes. What can you mean? I didn't do anything wrong. I hate how modern society takes traditional stories and creates its own narratives. Don't we have any obligation to our traditional mythology and the exquisite art forms of our past? Now, what's wrong with seeing the old through a modern lens every once in a while? This is operetta. Remember Offenbach, topsy-turvy though. Nonsense. Not on my watch. You will follow me to Olympus where you will plead at Jupiter's feet for the return of your beloved wife. Me. Ask for your Eurydice back. May the God protect me. For the edification of posterity, you must be the example of a husband who wants his wife back. Love her, love her. Love has nothing to do with it. This means your example will be all the more striking and valorous. I don't want to. Do you refuse? Would you like to see my vengeance? Very well. It will pursue you everywhere. I will tell every shepherdess you hope to pursue what a cad you are. You must get your wife back. If I stay married to Eurydice, may I still flirt with the shepherdesses? Well, it's not right, but it represents a long history of tradition. Husbands do it all the time. All right. If I must, you do. Come. Come, 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 come.
It's not you, it's me.
is this din that wakes us up when we all were turned in. It's my hunting daughter Diana, blowing her 5 a.m. Hosanna. Everyone get up, I say. Expanded with a complaint from Vulcan. Uh, it's not true. 
She's the one that says something. Whether it's true or not, Chase Venus, it's the same to me. In principle. But please, children, your standards. Olympus is slipping because of your indiscretions. Oh, what a tyrant! Cupid. Where's that little one? Oh, here I am! Aha! So here's the one who's been flirting with Evie while our ambrosia's burning. I'm warning you, you gutter snipe, if you continue like this, I shall be very angry. Oh dear, Jupiter's angry again. <laughs> you can't expect me to be still. After all, you gave me wings. Oh, I gave you wings. So you wouldn't be late, you always are. What time did you get in last night? If you do that again, I swear, I will put you into solitary confinement for eight days on nothing but bread and water. Very well. Everyone back to his post till it's time for Nectar and Ambrosia. Oh. And I don't want anyone absent for lunch. Let's go. Right. I heard some murmurs there. It wouldn't be the first time. Say, Mama, do you think this can go on much longer? He's such a bore. And what about me? I'm dying here. Olympus is smothering me with its endless blue. Yes, I'd like to try how for a change. <laughs>
loves her wife. <laughs> she's, uh, she's eating. Hail to the mighty master! Enough! Enough! Can we dispense with the, the pleasantries? How he stares at me. Does he suspect something? Ah! I'll divert his suspicions and flatter him. I'll pretend to find his home nice. Ah! With what voluptuousness I become intoxicated with the suave emanations of the sweet and fortifying Olympian atmosphere. All the perfumes are unleashed. The perfumes of the night, the perfumes of the day, the perfumes of the graces, the perfumes of the nymphs, the perfumes of the... And will you be finished soon with your perfumery? They can't say enough about your happiness up here. Or happiness? You think happiness is being next to graces and nymphs? King of hell, I don't agree. It seems to me, my good man, that you have the happiest existence. I would disagree. You live like a decadent mortal. Now, who are these uh, creatures you have with you? Oh, yes, those are my uh, companions. One carries an old bottle of Cyprian wine, and the other a flagon of fire water. Cyprian wine? We're eternally chained the neck to an ambrosia. This is your everyday cuisine? Oh, yeah, I don't like pale food. Must be colorful, with plenty of pigment. Oh, you truly must be the happiest of gods. Me, sire? Happy? Yes, you. What have you been doing for the last three weeks? I am the king of the gloomy sister of hell. There we don't breathe the perfume of nymphs. No, not at all. No, you live in a cottage near Thebes. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's, um, that was a... That was a spring trip with the oh. Stephanie. You know, we do the whole, you know, <laughs> underworld in the winter, earth in the spring. You hypocrite! You have abused your position yet again by stealing a wife from her husband, this time by means of death. Sire, I would never do answer. not speak when I speak, you stick quiet. Sir! I am not used to discussion. Before me, all tremble. How's <laughs> that? It does not sound to me like shouts of obedience or enthusiasm. <laughs>
is sedition. You refuse to obey. Yes. <laughs> Have you lost all respect for Papa Jupiter? And uh, have a little nectar at Ambrosia, huh? No! No! No more nectar! No more nectar! We feel like pieces of candy. We have maple syrup running through our veins. They're right, they're right! Oh, oh, oh. I'd like to try a beer sometime. <laughs> so, it's a revolt, is it? And you're not ashamed to have this bandit as your leader? A oh, bandit? Me, sire, I've no. Bandit, yes, so you are a scoundrel who abuses his position to carry off some mortal woman from her husband. It's not oh, true. Tell us all about it. It's not true. I promise. Uh, you want names? Okay, you said it. Let's have some names. Oh, you'll have some names. He just seduced Eurydice, the, the wife of that violinist Orpheus. That's not true. Oh. And what happened next? Oh, hello. What do you mean, what happened next? <laughs> what, what about morality? And, and the opinion of mortals. You're the one to talk about that. You've done it more than anyone else, little father. <laughs> Who's there? there? What did I say? I, me, darling, never. I'm a good husband, a good father, good lover. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's talk about your uh, domestic qualities. I, but I don't want to disrupt your household. Look, we're all one big family here. All first class gods. Go ahead, tell us what we've done wrong, but first let's remind you of what you've done. Yes, let's. I know a few things myself. And I, me too. So do we. We've even written a song about it. Would you look at the time? <laughs> Sorry, everybody, gotta go. Got an appointment with my architect. You'll stay and hear it. Yes, stay and hear it. It'll be your punishment.
I said, take her. It's all a pure gossip. There's nothing to those rumors, honey. I, I've never loved anyone but you. You're nothing but a slanderer, you peacock. Oh, say what you want, but please, take your wife. She annoys me. What is it? Whom do they want? Fire. Two strangers are here, and they demand an audience. Their names? Orpheus. <laughs> Orpheus? Here? Will you please take your wife? Here. I've had enough. Orpheus, I'm going to catch you. And again! There's also a young woman who calls herself public opinion. <laughs> public opinion? Mortals, children. Let's stop all our family squabbles. Don't receive them! Receive them! I will receive them. I am Jupiter, and I have to be just to everyone. <laughs> You're shaking like a leaf. Me, sire? I am not shaking. I am firm. Where's my nerve? Let them come in. Oh, so you're giving the orders around here, huh? Let them come in. All right, everybody, take your positions. Decorum, everybody, decorum. Public opinion is here. Where's my throne? Where's my lightning bolt? I need my Sunday lightning. Oh, to appear in all my glory. <laughs> Venus uh, here on my right, and Diana on my left. What about me? You. Yeah, sit over there in the defendant's box. Okay. And me? You. I don't care. Go to Mars. I'll hold you up. <laughs> oh, you'll look lovely together. Now, smile and uh, look important, won't you? <laughs> Let them come in. No! Let them enter. <laughs> He's advancing. Oh my God, it's Orpheus here. Down in hell, I'd be a prancing. But up here, no dance, I fear. She's approaching. He's advancing. Oh my God, it's Orpheus here. As the child king walks in dancing. Oh! 
idiot servant that they've made my jailer. It's not like I didn't want to be kidnapped by my lover. This place looks like a lot of fun. My chains. I already had one ball and chain. I don't need another. Just you wait, Pluto. You don't know what boredom can do to such an imaginative woman as myself. If this is how he seduces a woman, I'll start to miss my husband. <laughs> oh, someone's coming. Oh, it's him. <laughs> I can't lie, she is too pretty. <laughs> it's you again. What do you want? Madam, did it break? Me? No. Will Madam be ringing soon? How should I know? Why? Because if Madam did ring, I would surely run to her. <laughs> oh. Madam, I'm so unhappy. <laughs> and what does this have to do with me? Because Madam seems to be interested in me. I will tell her. Imagine me, madam, a strong nature, a sensitive heart, but a, a weak head. The woman who would love me would be very happy indeed. He's insane. I hope he won't tell me about his love affairs now. I have only one defect, madam. I best tell her now so she won't be angry with me later. I drink, sometimes. <laughs> Now, madam, that you know me, since you've made me tell you- Don't come any closer! You're a sad case. He's three sheets to the wind. Madam rebukes me after I just confessed to him? It's because I'm only a servant, isn't it? So like these elegant ladies, they're all the same. Oh, but I didn't die wearing this uniform. No, when I was alive, I was the son of the great Prince of Deosha. When I was king of Obeosha, with all my subjects I would chat. But I died, and my socializing was no more, and that was that. I regret that I did not know you, this I regret more than all things. This I regret that I did not know you when in Beosha I was king. When I was king of old Beosha, when I was king of old I've already forgotten. 
So he gives it to me again. I drink again. I forget again. And this can sometimes go on for days. But my master doesn't mind because he finds me otherwise very intelligent. <laughs> there is one thing I'll never forget when I drink all that leafy water. The vision of the lovely woman he has made me guard these past two days. How brazen! <gasps> but I forget all about my work when I'm with you. Can't you see, madam? Welcome oh. to the underworld. Oh, hell! My master! What's that noise? Uh, my master says when he yells, Welcome to the underworld, I am to chain you behind the curtain. But Come on now. Want to. Well, it's the master's orders. Look, well, when is this show going to be over? Later, I promise. Oh, Pluto, you'll pay for this. It's the gag last year. Shh. Oh, Just in time. Oh, she's not here. He's had enough time to hide her. Now I can breathe. Ways of honoring your guests around here. Who? Me? Yes, you. Welcome to the underworld. Right before you enter the room, must hold something special. Where are we? We are in my little apartment. My buen retiro. Your what? My buen retiro. My boudoir, if you prefer. It is here, worn out from governing my infernal kingdom, that I come for a few moments of peace. And solitude. <laughs> solitude? I'm sure she's here. Looking for something, my uh, uh, No, no, nothing, nothing. I'm just uh, fascinated by the arrangement yeah. and, and the construction of it all. I think I'll build one just like it on Olympus. <laughs> I'll have to uh, consult my architect. It's just perfect for uh, lovemaking. Isn't it? <laughs> Love? I'm not one of those gods that would uh, compromise my divinity with profane love. Uh, really, you hypocrite? What are you doing? You, you planning some trick behind my back, you, you serious god? Not me. You were just, just talking to someone. Who? I, I, don't, I don't know what you're... Hmm? John Sticks! My servant, my butler, my factotum is a brave and honest fellow to whom I can find. Your secrets! Where is she? Who? She Eurydice, my thunder! Oh! Eurydice, you still think after everything I've told you that I've taken that girl? Absolutely! And I will see for myself. What the? What? Ah, ah, no! Ah, no! Ah. Sure, he's hiding her here somewhere. By my immortality, I, who have metamorphosed myself so many times to please so many women, will surely come up with a way to get into this room when no one's here. Well, uh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> you were right. Maybe I was wrong. Well, let's let us return to the party where the gods are waiting for you. A wild party, yes. Um, but first, let me consult with my butler. I'll be there in a second. He will be back. Do not let her escape. Yes? Yes? Watch him. Okay. <clears throat> Home now, back to the chest. It's the master's orders. I'm sorry, I've been given very, very strict orders. From now on, I can't say a word. There will be only body. 
passing herd. There will be only buzzing herd. Oh, she's my, oh, she's my, oh, she's my, she's my, oh, 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 she
I gotta go back to that party that idiot Pluto was throwing for me. Join me there! How? Disguise yourself and come to the party! When everyone leaves, you'll be part of the crowd. What God wills, woman wants. I wore stupider. See you at the party! Only one hour from now. Oh, I'm a happy insect!
Now I'd like to dance. I'm so graceful in etiquette. Like the Count of Versailles, let's dance the minuet. <laughs>
What exactly do you mean? Okay, I'll be, a little, I'll be a little bit more specific. Do you think I don't know what's been going on for the past two hours? Do you think I don't know who's standing here disguised as a Vacante? Oh. Eurydice! <laughs> Are you saying you didn't carry her off? Oh no, I carried her off all yeah. But now I'm truly sorry I did. What is he saying? I'm saying you treated me in the same way you treated your husband. Oh! It was you who blocked me up. I was so desperate for attention I had to find it with an insect. Well, that is true. <laughs> Go ahead! Laugh! <laughs> Paradise. Who's gonna stop me if I want to? Who? Why yourself? What is he saying? And the little husband who's coming? My husband. I forgot about him. <laughs> that tends to happen, yes. Oh, it certainly does. <laughs> I will be avenged. You will not re return your Eurydice to me, no. But to him, the little troubadour. But did I promise? Ah, yes. But it is the finale. We must let the dialogue rise to the level of the situation. Of course. We must speak in verse. Be careful. Do you recognize the violin song? The song he finds lovely. The song I find long. It's my husband who's come. <laughs> yes, but let's state his goal. Your husband has come to return your soul. The soul I once loved, which I love no more. What Jupiter wills is what fate has in store. Your husband reclaims you. Your return will be swift. You'll be a nice present from us, a little, uh, bon voyage gift. <laughs> ah, don't worry, I'll soon spring my plan. You have not yet been forced to return to that path. I see them approaching. Everyone take the proper arrangements, high ranks. Their folks are approaching the funeral banks. Our appearance and diction must both be correct. Our inferred delights they must never suspect. <clears throat> Mighty King of Enough. Spare us your orations and poetical fluff. With Pluto's consent, we'll keep the simplicity. We've decided at once to return your Eurydice. <laughs> your Lordship and Pluto are very most kind. Well, uh, there's one thing more the whole thing won't bind. A condition that might seem a trifle bizarre if you don't understand it. Well, that's the way things are. Now, return to the sticks. Deathly river so black, just the head of your wife. You must never look back. I repeat, not one glance at your wife. Don't be tempted. If you do, you will find she'll at once be preempted. I'll warn you again. Recall, not one peek. What the hell is this? Some kind of game? Did I hear someone speak? Now, lead on. She will follow to the sticks. Lead the way. Don't turn back. Don't turn round. I have spoken. Obey. Don't look back, those of your rulers, just fix your eyes ahead, ten feet, we'll leave these hellish borders, and earth will seem so sweet. Will he be calm, or will he cry? Will he turn back, or will he keep straight on my track? Oh, can it really be he has no curiosity? I think we would how wonderful! How wonderful! He won't turn around to bad. He'll get a thunderbolt. <laughs>
Me? Yes, you, my know. I'm public opinion. <laughs> but my real name is Nancy. Nancy? Your name means grace and favor. Yes, it does. Well, by your grace, would you grant me a favor? <laughs> I'd love to show you around Hades. It would give me a chance to change your opinion on a great many things. Well, why not? I kind of like it here. You know what? I decided we all need a vacation from the boring mythological ethereal heavens we call home. Let's stay in the underworld and enjoy the enchanting grapes of Bacchus! <laughs> 